Hey guys, today I wanted to just sit down and catch up with you because, oh, Camper just made a very strange noise. Um, I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about life, what I've been learning. I think it's important to share the real things that are going on in your life and um, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And just sharing with you guys some life updates, what I've been learning, what's been on my heart lately. Wow, my neck just cracked, it just went grrr. So yeah, let's just get into the video. So the first thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about, because I haven't talked about it on YouTube yet, but I have talked about it on my Instagram. Um, we launched our very first product on Kristen Made, and I have never launched a product before. So it was very, very scary, and I was so nervous, but the response that I got from you guys was crazy, and I am so happy that you guys are as excited about this as I am. I'm wearing it right now. It is this t-shirt. It is the Watch Me Grow t-shirt, and it is very, very special to me for a lot of reasons. First of all, I wanted to have something that I was very hands-on and creating and so I actually wrote out this little phrase this is my own handwriting and I chose this phrase watch me grow because um, we were kind of brainstorming about what the first product would be and I knew I wanted it to be a t-shirt because I wanted it to be something that you guys could wear all the time just something that could feel like an everyday type of thing so I knew I wanted something that you could wear and I also thought of this phrase because I knew it was going to be our first product and so watch me grow kind of signifies the growth of Kristen made we're all growing every single day um, towards the person that we are meant to be so watch me grow watch you grow watch me grow watch us grow together <laughs> and also it has this little plant on it and you guys know my love for plants i think they are so special and they make me so happy and a lot of you guys share in my love for plants let me take my sweater off so you can really see it um this is what it looks like and i have it tied up right here i'm wearing a medium right now but i also like wearing a small for a more fitted look when you guys get this shirt, you will understand why I'm so obsessed with it. It is so stinking soft. It is actually washed with a special enzyme that breaks down the cotton in the fabric and makes it feel like uh, like your 20 year old uh, shirt that you've had forever that is like broken in and so comfy. And these shirts are made here in LA in an ethical factory by hand, so they are very special. I knew that I wanted something that was locally made and ethically made, and I can't believe how many of you have already pre-ordered the shirt. We are like, oh my gosh. So I can't wait for you guys to get yours, and um, I will put the link in the description. You can get them at kristenmade.com, and I can't wait to see all of you in your Wash Me Grow shirts. I am so excited, but I've also been going through kind of a rough season lately, to be honest. Just a lot of things, like a lot of personal things that I can't really get into, um, but just I've been having so much self-doubt lately. I don't know why. I think I'm just putting too much pressure on myself. I am seriously my own worst critic and I just want to crawl into a ball and delete all my social media and just go away forever because I seriously just doubt myself so much and I just put a lot of pressure on myself. I always want to set a very positive and good example for you guys but I also want to create like the best content for you guys um, and it's also my job so it's just it's difficult for me sometimes to just balance everything I think Marcus always tells me he's like you are such a go 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 type of person you really need to just sit down sometimes <laughs> and take a little break so that is what I did this past few weeks I haven't uploaded a YouTube video which felt very weird to not post for two weeks um, but I did take a much needed break from everything. I just think my insecurities get the best of me sometimes. Like I just start listening to the lies in my head just saying that I'm not good enough and it's just hard to combat those 
those, what are they called? Thoughts. <laughs> That's kind of what I've been dealing with lately. And I know a lot of you guys can also relate because social media does put a lot of pressure on you and it's hard to not think about it so much and not to find your self-esteem and self-worth through that because it's such a such a weird thing. Like you get likes and followers and I don't know, it's just, I don't feel like it's natural for a human uh, to have to feel pressure of that type of thing so um, I've been just trying to work through that I think it's gonna be kind of a constant growing thing for me in my life because I am the type of person that is very hard on myself um, but I always told myself that if I was putting too much priority on something that I would take a break from it because I don't want anything to take away from my relationship with God and my relationship with my friends and my family. So I did take a little break so that I could kind of refocus everything and I'm very happy that I did and I would suggest to you guys like even just taking one day a week just to get social media off your phone and just to try to be as present as possible and I think that would be very healthy for all of us. Wow, my camera cut off when I was trying to say something deep. <laughs> but I was trying to say this quote. Basically, it's kind of like you're looking at yourself through a broken mirror, like a shattered mirror, and you're trying to find your beauty in that mirror and you're trying to see yourself through all of these people's eyes in this like distorted way. And it's never gonna be the same as seeing yourself through God's perspective and how much he thinks you're beautiful and loved and worth it. And I also think something that that has helped me a lot is by using this. This has been like a lifesaver for me. There's a new thing on your phone. It's called screen time and you just go to your settings and it's like right here, screen time. And you click it and you can set app limits. And say you spend a ton of time on Instagram and you think you need to kind of cut back a little bit. You can actually set like an hour limit, a 30 minute limit on Instagram. And then once you've reached that limit, it will close the app for you. And that has been so nice because when I looked and saw how much time I was spending just scrolling through Instagram, I was a little shook to be honest. So I've loved that and that's been helping me a lot. I've also started doing my quiet time during the morning because I was doing it at night but then I would fall asleep and um, I was just missing so many days and I think that starting off my morning reading the Bible and praying has been so nice because it kind of like kicks off your day in a happy way and um, kind of like sets the tone for your day like because then you are reminded in the morning of what's important so I would definitely recommend if you don't do your quiet times in the morning it's been amazing <laughs> this has been kind of a difficult season um, but I know uh, everybody goes through tough seasons and I feel like I'm on the up and up because um, I've like taken time to reflect on things and that's very important and something I'm very bad at. I am so quick to just swallow my emotions and swallow the hard things and not think about them. But sometimes I just have to take a few weeks to really process everything and to reflect on everything and then it makes me feel so much better. But on a happier note, <laughs> I want to end this video on a happy note. Um, I am so excited for Thanksgiving and Christmas. I have so many fun videos planned for you guys. I have some winter look books. I have some really cool makeup looks, some other fun craft videos for you guys that I'm really excited about. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel and make sure you're following Kristen Made Inc. on Instagram. I always feel a little weird plugging Kristen Made because I've never had anything to plug before, but I love it so much, so it's okay. But I love you guys so much. <laughs> I'm editing this right now. And my camera cut out right before I said goodbye to y'all. So I thought I'd come on here and say goodbye. And also, I love you guys. And I will see you very soon. Bye. Also, I'm filming this on Photo Booth right now, which is hilarious because I haven't used Photo Booth in forever. Okay, bye. <laughs>